Hi there. Guess what's coming up? Father's Day, June 18th. Now, we always give honors to the mothers, but it's time that we show the fathers that we certainly appreciate them. So we're going to start working on uh, something for Father's Day. And, and what's more important than giving father a great meal? Uh, so what we're doing is working on a runner. And the runner will represent a father's uh, look. So what I've selected to do is to create runners, a runner out of his ties. Well, of course, these are not father's ties that we stole out of his closet. He may not like that because we're going to cut them and glue them. But I will tell you that you can find these uh, ties in uh, very inexpensive, like uh, secondhand stores. Uh, these are, for instance, uh, I was able to get for a dollar fifty each. Great looking ties, right? So. Not to fret, don't go in Father's Closet and make him angry on Father's Day. But we're going to create a runner. What I started with to make the runner is fabric. Now I selected to use two fabrics. One, a felt, which would be my base fabric, which is here. And the other is sort of like a linen, which is top fabric. Now we're going to glue these two fabrics together. You can use one, but I chose to use two to give the runner more body. Uh, we're going to spray it. Love this fast. And then we're going to adhere them together very carefully. Uh, pull it up, make sure that it stays. And I think it's buckling a little bit, but take it, put it, smooth it out. And there, we have the base for our runner. Now, here's something you should know. Uh, how do you determine the size of your runner? Uh, obviously, as far as length is concerned, it will be determined by the size of your table. But width-wise, there is a control situation that you must know. Now, I don't know the size of your table, but a standard, they, they come 36 inches wide, 48 inches wide, and some go up to 52. 36 would probably be the least in, in width, side to side. Uh, what it takes for a place setting is about 12 inches, including the mat. So you want to make sure that your runner, let's say if it's 36, uh, if you have a 36 inch table, your mat should be, your runner should be about 12 inches. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have too much in the middle and not enough on the end for your table setting, for your plates. So this runner that we're doing today is for a smaller size table. Remember, you can make it larger if your table is larger. And we do have some larger ones to show you. So here it is. We have in this length, I think this is about 40 something inches long. So it's perfect. So let's get started. Now, I want to tell you, you guys know how much I hate hot glue. It just burns me, but I, uh, I did go out and I looked for a fabric glue. So it, see, it stays right there, fabric glue. Doesn't work. <laughs> Doesn't stick well enough. So back to the hot glue gun I am. So I want you to uh, say a prayer for me <laughs> that I don't burn my fingers. And I'm gonna do this without the gloves, okay? So we're going to take our tie and we're going to put it to the edge and we're going to actually adhere it down like this. And we're going to go all the way to the end, okay? So let's get started. So we're going to put the hot glue on the back of the tie, one dot at a time. Here you go. And it's really fantastic for holding. I, I did obviously this before I wanted to show you to make sure that it works. But there we go. we're starting it with this. And we're gonna continue it all the way down. See what I'm doing? I'm pressing it down so that it comes out a lot more rapid. Uh, take it. Now, the great thing about this, you see that my fingers are not coming in contact with the uh, glue at all. I don't want to speak too quickly. And now we're going to make sure that if I can get that edge there, because the edge is sort of not as straight as I would like. So we just keep going with this till we get to the end. Move this 
down a little bit and there okay there's the first die I don't know if you can see this but we'll show you later now I'm going to use another one but I'm going to alternate them the large end of the tie is there what I want to do next is to put this down at this end change it up a little bit which makes it a lot more creative you know, anyone can line them up, but we want to do things that are a little different here. And now, the other thing that I want you to remember as we're doing this, this is not just about a place setting, it's also to be a wall hanging. So once the dinner is over, hang it on the wall, okay? Uh, it's, it's actually, it looks like a, a woven piece of art. I think we're going to need another glue stick. But for right now, I'm going to put this one down. We'll put in, now this is actually going to look like it was woven when we finish with it. I just pinned them down a little bit to hold them in place. You can do that or you can continue to glue it. So we're gonna stop here because this gives you a great concept of where you're going with it. Uh, I would suggest that looking at this palette that we have here, as far as size is concerned, we have one, two, three, four. We have four, so you probably need a total of eight to ten. No, we have one, two, three, four, five, five ties. So you probably will need ten ties to stretch it out. Notice that we're, I'm not trying to uh, not cover the end, so I'm using the pointed part of the uh, tie to make the finished edge, which I think is a great idea. The other thing that I incorporated in for Men's Day or for Father's Day is a belt, okay? Uh, you can find a belt maybe in his closet or maybe you'll do like I did. Find something that's very reasonable. I chose to use uh, a belt that looks like it's woven versus the leather one. So at the end of my concept, uh, I used the belt to, to frame it out like this. And again, that will also be hot glued on. So you can put it on the end and then you just put it together. So it's all about textures and it's all about things that a man will actually use or wear. So when this is finished and it's on your table as a runner, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Uh, another little added treat may be to take a placemat, uh, as I've done here. Uh, this is like a leather placemat, which I happen to have, but if you, you don't have it, you can find something on your own. Uh, and you can actually take a part of a tie, uh, like I did here. I actually cut this one and I'm just going to Put it right on the edge of it uh, and I certainly intend to take this off so I'm not going to when we're done with Father's Day uh, so I'm just putting a dab there so here's where we this is where we are this is going to this is the placemat for the plate so we're going to put this aside and come back and show you the finished product